Lindsay, you told me that you first fell in love with Anthony for his good looks. But most importantly, you were drawn to his character, the way he listens to you and keeps his word, the way he loves his family, and how he makes you feel seen in every way. You've never experienced that before. And Dr. Anthony, we know that you love this beautiful woman that stands before us. And not only is she beautiful on the outside, but it's her heart that makes it so easy for you to love her, her intellect and her empathy, her divine way to be acceptable of all things and living creatures, even bugs sometimes. <laughs> you simply can't imagine your life without her in it. You two are perfect for one another. Lindsay, the love you have poured into your friends, family, and anyone you meet is unmatched. You have the special gift of making people feel seen, safe, and loved. And you have been there for so many of us during our highest, but also really low moments. And I really am grateful that you've st stood by my side through so many of them. You only deserve the world and a once in a lifetime love. And it makes my heart smile to know that the once-in-a-lifetime love is Anthony. Lindsay, you have a way of actively listening in a way that allows people to break down their barriers to reinforce their boundaries. Anthony, you have such a way of challenging people to reach their highest potential only to find out they can go a little bit harder and a little bit further. Open the bottom one first. Oh my gosh. It's a chessboard. Wow. That's <laughs> a queen for my queen. Did <laughs> I put them on? Yes! What a precious gift it has been to do life with you over these last two and a half years. To have had such intimate access to your beautifully imaginative mind, your giving heart, and your cheerful spirit. Today, I vow to nurture every part of you that makes you you. It humbles me to know that I get to spend the rest of this life deepening my understanding of all the magic that is inside of you, including the parts that even you have yet to discover. You too are safe here. God sent me one of his angels to watch over, to protect and cherish, to assist her in unleashing her potential for love, for God, for success, for art, for travel, for motherhood and happiness. I'm under cheerful obligation to show his angel a good time here on earth and forever in the garden of heaven. In the line of duty of your protection, the sting of death is lessened knowing that I will have you on the other side, my bride. <laughs> by the power vested in me by God in the great state of North Carolina, it is now my honor and delight to pronounce you two husband and wife. You may kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs>
Lindsay and Anthony, as you practice loving each other as deeply as Christ loves us, as you define what love is now as one flesh, as you enter into this communion of love with God and with community, know you will be blessed to give and receive a love that lasts, a love that is stronger than death, a love that's eternal. We are standing in the gap. We bind up all forces. We set guard at the gate to protect this love. We will ensure they are integrating well into their marriage. We will be a guiding light to strengthen their spiritual connection. And we vow to love them as their community. And we vow to love them as their community. Lindsay, we welcome you to the McClinney name. Wear it with honor and pride and grace and love. And Anthony, we love what you have brought to our family. Keep it close to your heart. I'm just real happy for you guys. Your future is bright and uh, just couldn't be more proud. As McClenney said as well, I finally can call you my son. Finally. I'm so honored to be here and to be able to toast both of you and to be in this beautiful environment with you guys. I would like to toast for Darlene and I that we get to gain a daughter. till the soil for you as my forefathers did make it rich with nutrients so that you can spread your roots so that you can do as the old trees do and stretch towards the sun and warm your leaves it is an honor to be your forever gardener and for you to garden me i love you Lindsay. <laughs>